And back hitting the stage, the Rio Rancho Players Community Theater Group is now deep into rehearsals for its upcoming production of the comedy Airport Encounters. Now, with a cast of 25 Rio Rancho residents, the play is going to focus on what happens to folks waiting at a gate to board their plane. With a twist, of course, something we've all been through naturally. And we're joined this morning by Mel Sussman, finding out more about this latest two-act production. And Mel, how's it going? Good. It's going great. We're really go. excited. Yeah. And, and we are excited as well because uh, inevitably it, it's a situation that everybody's had to deal with at one point or another. You guys are bringing it to life on stage with a little bit of a twist. So let's talk about this, uh, this new creation coming to life. Yeah. You, you never know uh, who you're going to meet when you're sitting at a gate and you're delayed or waiting to board your plane. And this play has 12 separate scenes of what happens to people that come across someone that they don't expect to be there. And uh, uh, it's our first attempt at uh, real, uh, a real attempt at comedy. And, it, and, and as I like to say, it's a hoot. It's a <laughs> lot of fun for the uh, two plus hours that people are gonna be able to sit there and uh, uh, take part in this. Well, uh, anything we can give away to the viewers now on that uh, encounter that they... Yeah, how about uh, in one of our early scenes about uh, a young lady that's trying to sneak her pet lizard onto the plane. All right. Uh, hidden in a styrofoam box and uh, uh, finding a way to get that onto the plane and meeting up with somebody that, believe it or not, is trying to sneak his pet lizard onto the plane as well. It, it, it's a riot. It's a, it's a real funny scene. Almost sounds like a little bit of a love story right there. But, it is. Uh, it, it absolutely is. Maybe for the lizards, too. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Um, and again, this is so incredible. So uh, let's talk about the theater group itself. Uh, some locals kind of getting involved in the act. Yeah, right there, right? Uh, we, uh, this is now our uh, uh, ending our third year uh, okay. as a group, and we've grown over the years to we're over 60 strong now. Oh, uh, not everybody in front of the curtain, a whole lot of them behind the curtain, but... Uh, We've really grown in numbers and how well we've been accepted by the community. Uh, uh, this is our fourth production and we're looking to go for next year. We've already got planned for three productions for the first time, a, uh, uh, a fall, winter and spring production. So we're really excited about how we've been embraced by the community. Wow, that's amazing, and, and it kind of just seems like yesterday when we were talking about some of the early productions that, uh, that you guys were putting on there, but, uh, you know, things uh, finally relaxing and returning to normal a little bit and uh, getting, making, sure that, making sure that we have entertainment, live entertainment here in the community. Yeah, well, we're, we're excited that you don't have to, and not that it's a bad thing, to drive into Albuquerque to see live theater mm -hmm. right here at home in Rio Rancho uh, over a period of three weekends and eight performances. You can come out, what we think is a pretty darn good theater experience. Our cast has uh, really come along. They've really grown, and I'm, uh, I'm excited to be able to direct them. There you go. Some of those uh, weekends coming up. Uh, let's get folks at home uh, some of those dates there, Mel. Yeah, we open up on Friday night, April the 14th, okay. and run for three consecutive weekends after that with four evenings and four total matinees, uh, evenings at 7.30 on Friday night and Saturday night, mm -hmm. as well as matinees, uh, 2 o'clock on Saturdays and Sundays as well through April 30th. And we'd love to see people come out there. And that venue is? Uh, we are now at St. Francis Episcopal Church Parish Hall Theater. Real intimate location, whole lot of fun for people to come out. And it's dessert theater. So you get a chance to eat a piece of chocolate cake, drink a cup of coffee, Wonderful. and watch a play. There you go. A week from Friday, starting this uh, a week from Friday, and it's up the hill, up in Rio Rancho. Some wonderful uh, acting coming to the stage. Mel Sussman, thank you so much for sure. Thank, thank you, you for, for having us. us. Yep. And we'll be right back.